The close-knit community at Stewart Island have been working hard to control rats, feral cats and possums to create an urban sanctuary within the township. Imagine having Kaka, Robins and Saddleback in your backyard. Well, it wasn't too long ago I could walk the streets top to toe Carrie, how did the Half Moon Bay project come about? The first reason for starting the project was because uh, a few people walked visitors out to Acker's Point to look at the, um, the titi and the little blue penguins coming in, and none of them were coming in. Uh, we realised that their eggs and their young chicks had already been taken by rats and possums and wild cats, and it was a bit of an inspiration to go out there and protect them. We started as a group of volunteers, protecting 20 hectares of land out at Acker's Point, just setting pop possum traps and rat traps out there to protect that land and there were so many people interested in being involved that we decided that we would expand the project to 200 hectares. So we want a place where our children and their children can sit at their breakfast table and look out the window and see some of these endangered species living as residents in their backyards. It's a great feeling to carry a dead rat by its tail and bury it. <laughs> so the only good rat is a dead rat? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> if I could catch possums as easily, I'd do that too. <laughs> it's turned into a bit of a competition amongst some of our neighbours as to how many possums or rats that you can actually kill in a month. It's a good example of what you can actually do to encourage birds into your own garden. Oh, we go down the lines and find a few possums once in a while and a couple of rats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Henry and I are allowed to sometimes set the rat traps. That's fun catching rats. Is it? Yeah, I can catch You know, my dad takes off the... I, I did the rat... You know, I put the bait on. All by myself. And Dad, and Dad holds the bait, but I put it on. We're not catching as many possums now. And how do you any at all? Yeah. And not and as many rats. You know, possums eat leaves and cheese. Leaves and cheese? No. Oh, trees! <laughs> One of the major drivers of the economy on Stewart Island is becoming tourism. A key interest for people coming to the island is the bird life here. So being able to increase the bird life and protect it uh, is really protecting our future economy. I think the kark is the favourite one with the guests, with the overseas people particularly, because they hop along the rail here and they make a lot of noise to let you know that I'm here and couldn't, could you bring me some food? They particularly like a grape and they hold it in their hand claw and they literally peel it with their, with their beaks and they just throw the skin on the ground and eat the rest of it. And if it's got a pip in it, the pip gets spit out too. The Stewart Island community have the lofty goal of a predator-free island in the future, but for now their goals are small but precious. Weka foraging on Half Moon Bay Beach, saddlebacks flitting around the pub balcony, Stewart Island robins hopping in the garden, a flock of a hundred mohu are flowing through the village and hoi ho swimming around the wharf. This is not a dream, we can make it happen and I for one believe they will.